Hello, everybody. Hello. So guess where we are right now? We are in Whittier, California, and we are here for a very specific reason. We are going to check out some filming locations for the original 1993 Hocus Pocus movie. And guess what I have? Oh, did you bring Binks with us? I brought Binks. <laughs> Well, actually, that's from Kiki's Delivery Service, but it looks a lot like Binks. It does. <laughs> Plus, we have cat um, dresses on today, as you can see, in honor of Binks, because as you guys know, Hocus Pocus is one of our favorite movies. Not only that, but I was a trick-or-treater on the original 1993 set of Hocus Pocus. So a lot of you know that most of Hocus Pocus was actually filmed in Salem, but there are a few locations that they did film in Los Angeles. And when we worked on the set of Hocus Pocus, we actually filmed the scenes that were in Whittier for the trick-or-treating, right, Mom? We did, and we were both there. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched that video, definitely check it out. We talk about our experience working on the set, right, Mom? We do. But now we are actually back to the filming location that we were at so many years ago. <laughs> Here we are. We're actually more specifically on Friends Ave in Whittier, and we're really excited to show you guys the filming locations from Hocus Pocus on this street. Well, this video has been on our bucket list for a very long time, so we're so happy to be here. And that being said, we have a lot of filming locations to get to, so follow us along, why don't you, to Hocus Pocus filming locations in Los Angeles. Okay, so first up, you guys might recognize this house right here. If you guys recall in the movie, the very first trick-or-treat scene happened right here, right over there on those steps. So you kind of see a skeleton pop up. I'm sure you guys remember that, and some trick-or-treaters walking away from the door and down those steps with their bags of treats. And it's a very, very quick scene, but it happened right here. And this house is at 6546 Friends Ave. But keep in mind, if you do visit this house, just be very respectful, because it is private property and people live here. So just don't go up to the doorsteps or anything like that. Just be uh, very respectful. Oh, my mom pointed out, check it out. This is also an historical landmark built in 1896. So that's really cool. This is a really nice house. And like I said, it looks basically the same as it did in the movie, so that's really exciting. Look at that, history happened right there. Now, like I said, I was a trick-or-treater that day, and I did see them shooting this scene, but I wasn't in that scene, unfortunately. But I do remember them shooting that scene quite a few times, actually. Now, if you recall in the movie, there's a pretty close-up shot of that skeleton, so I actually remember the cameraman shooting the skeleton pretty close up to those stairs, and then kind of just walking backwards so you could pan out and see the trick-or-treaters walking down the steps. And I remember them doing, like I said, that scene quite a few times, even though it was a very, very short scene. So how about you, Mom? Do you remember anything from that scene? You know, I just remembered everything being decorated so beautifully for oh, Halloween. Yeah. Even though it was January, January February, February, it was like Halloween fall leaves, pumpkins, everything. Very oh my God. Yeah, they went full out. Beautiful. So this whole street was basically decorated for Halloween. It was. And there were a lot of trick-or-treaters. Even a little Peter Pan Indian was walking around <laughs> somewhere here. And they were so talented, so cute. They brought so much to the movie. Absolutely. No, I'm just kidding. That was me. And you can't really see me in any of the scenes, but um, it was still fun to work on the set. Oh, it was exciting. <laughs> so many people, so much going on. Oh, yeah. It was Disney. Yeah, and it was a Disney movie. Okay, Mom, why don't we go to the next scene? Okay. Now, this is one we actually weren't on set when they filmed these scenes. Correct. Because the Sanderson sisters were there, Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker. But we do know where they were filmed. Okay, what do we have here? Well, this is a familiar sight, although this scene was shot at night in the movie. It was a night shoot. So... This you guys might recognize as the infamous Devil's House. Now this looks almost identical to how it looked in the movie, although this archway was not here. The fence was here for sure. And I recognize these steps here, along with this kind of curve here to the right and to the left, all of that is identical to how it was in the movie. 
Yeah, this all definitely looks different at night, but you can still recognize it. And this tree was not here, I believe, in the movie. I don't think that tree was there either. Or it was very tiny. Or maybe it was just a little baby tree at the yeah, time. It baby. was a long time ago. <laughs> wow, how exciting. Okay, I'm gonna get a closer look, but I'm gonna be respectful, obviously. <laughs> I'm just geeking out right now. If you go close up, you can see that that stained glass looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. You can even see the address if you look really closely in the movie. But that definitely looks exactly the same. How cool is that? Wow, I'm just totally geeking out right now. I really wish I was working that day on set when they were filming this. That would have been really neat because then we might have seen the Sanderson sisters. Okay, time to line up a couple of the scenes that were here. Now, one of the scenes would have to have been somewhere right there. If you guys recall, the Sanderson sisters left their broomsticks right over here. <laughs> And then later on, three girls walk over and pick up the broomsticks and say, Wow, neat broom! And then they take off with the brooms, obviously, as we find out in the movie. There's also a scene where a little angel trick-or-treater says, Bless you! <laughs> you need to be a little shorter though, Mom. Maybe crouch down a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's try it one more time. One more time. Bless you! And then another iconic moment, as you guys know, is when you first see Master, or Satan, who isn't actually Satan as we know, but just a man in a Halloween costume. And Satan, as you guys know, was played by Gary Marshall. <laughs> and the Sanderson sisters see him there, of course, and they say, <laughs> so later, after they hang out with Master for a while, as you guys know, they get chased out of the house by the dog, who is dressed up like a little devil, and it's super cute. So they run right this way. What's nice is these fences are identical to how they looked in the movie. So this is definitely recognizable if you're looking for this house, which, by the way, is right next to the trick-or-treating house. It's almost right next door, and this one is 6536. Although again, if you visit this location, people do live here, so just be sure to be respectful. Also, according to the neighbors, they redid all of this fencing for the movie because it looked a little run down, and they wanted to make it look pretty for the movie. And they decorated all the houses, and they, didn't they get paid for that as well, just a little bit? You know, a little bit. Not a whole lot. Not millions, but no. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. They put some pumpkins on their front lawns. They did. And they, they decorated this whole area here. Okay, so after that, here is my mom playing Winifred and Sarah and Mary. Uh, they walk this way and pass some trick-or-treaters. And Mary is eating a Clark chocolate bar. <laughs> and eventually she says, why would the master give us candy? Or something along those lines. And that is when they realize what Halloween is in 1993. And that all these kids aren't hobgoblins and <laughs> witches, but they're actually children dressed up for Halloween because it's now a night of frolic. Which brings us to another famous line in the movie, which happens right here right here near these steps. Now, I'm not sure of the exact mark, but I know Sarah is standing somewhere in line with this uh, door frame right here. So Winifred is standing just to the right here, and she says the line, Sisters, all Hallow's Eve has become a night of frolic, where children wear costumes and run amok. And Sarah is standing in the middle of Mary and Winifred, and she says that infamous line, Amok! Amuck, 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 amuck. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So um, the, the nice lady who lives here is letting us get a shot of this doorway up close and we're just <laughs> geeking out. Uh, yeah, Satan or Master was right here. What was the actor's name again, Mom? Gary Marshall. Gary Marshall was right here in I this spot. We're going to be doing part two here because Gary Marshall oh, is yeah. dead. Oh, yeah. He passed. Well, oh. I'm excited to see the new movie, though. That'll be a lot they of fun. They didn't invite us. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a trick-or-treater in that, unfortunately. They didn't invite us. So. <laughs> I know. Do you mind if I just get a, a shot of me here just oh, saying take, the... take a picture. Happy Halloween! Well, it was super exciting to get to go to the doorstep 
Uh, the owner invited us to do that, by the way, so don't just go up to the step. No. But she's very nice, so you oh, never know. Maybe she'll let nice. you get a photo there. But um, yeah, wow, that was, I'm just totally geeking out right now. That was so much fun. Me too. And she's really into Hocus Pocus. Oh, yeah, Some totally. other movies as well, or TV shows were shot there. She also gave us some really good information. I was saying that most of the interior shots of that house were filmed at a studio, but according to the owner of the Devil's House over there, the interior shots of the Devil's House were filmed right across the street at this house right here. Now it is possible that some of the scenes in the Devil's House were filmed at a studio, but some of it was definitely absolutely shot right here behind these walls. Let's have a closer look here. This is the front doorway. And this, like I said, is across the way over at 13227. In the scene, they mostly hang out in the kitchen, I believe, and the living room, because Mary is watching TV and she's watching a funny commercial. There's also a funny scene where uh, Sarah is dancing with the devil, but then she gets caught, as we know. And that happened right here at this house. How exciting. Or at least some of it did. Well, I'm glad we found out that information. That's really, really good to know. And uh, the neighbor over there was there on the street, obviously, because she lives here when that was filmed. And she said that they were filming inside here. So, And she says she remembers that Penny Marshall was here. So I'm guessing it was the scenes with her. Well, it was definitely fun checking out these houses. Now, there's another filming location. From what I can see online, nobody has been able to find it. And we kind of searched a little bit and we can't find it either, but we know it was filmed somewhere, at least nearby this neighborhood here in Whittier, because we were there on set that day and we were here. We just don't recall exactly where it might have been, but that is the bully scene. So that's the scene where Danny says, drop dead moron. And you know, they're saying like Hollywood, like to Max and, and Danny says, for your information, he's a little leaguer. It's that whole trick or treating scene happened somewhere. It would have had to have been somewhere close by, right, mom? Absolutely. They were not gonna move this big group of kids that far. We're gonna find it, Linz. We will try to, we can't make any guarantees, but we do know that obviously, cause we filmed that day in Whittier, it happened somewhere in Los Angeles and around this area. Now, I originally thought maybe it was on this street somewhere. So did I. But if you look at the turnaround shot in that scene, there's some houses on this side. So it couldn't have been on this street. It had to have been somewhere else. Because as you can see, there's a park here. And this park has been here for a long time, earlier than 1993. Yes. So yes. Um, we would have to find a place that had houses on this side of the street. and there aren't any here, so it had to have been on a different street. But it has to be, again, close by. They would, I do not remember being shuttled anywhere. We weren't shuttled far. So. So we'll make a valiant effort to find the location. Absolutely. But if anybody knows what that house is or the location, let us know in the comments. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we were unable to locate the house from the bully scene in the movie. We tried really hard, but it may forever remain a mystery. But if we hear where it is, then, you know, we'll go back and add it into the video, I guess. <laughs> I cannot believe we didn't find it. Yeah, we're Seriously. sure it is somewhere nearby. They couldn't have gone far. No from the other trick-or-treating scene they did that day. So it's somewhere around there. One of these days, like the minute we hear where it is, we're gonna go back, <laughs> even if it's in another video. Uh, seriously, I cannot believe it. But hey, we saw some of the other locations and that was definitely a lot of fun. And now we are on to the next location. So we are at East Whittier Middle School because believe it or not, one of the first scenes in the movie was shot here in one of the interior classrooms. Of course, this is a middle school, but in the movie, it is a high school. And the exteriors of the high school were shot in Salem, but the interiors for that very first classroom scene were shot somewhere over here, we believe. Because if you look very closely in that scene, you can see a window and out that window, you can kind of see an archway that looks like this. 
So that classroom scene had to have been filmed on the other side of these arches, so let's take a look. Most likely the classroom to the far left in that corner. Hi everyone. So, as it turns out, my mom and I were wrong about the classroom filming location at East Whittier Middle School. The classroom from Hocus Pocus, where they filmed that infamous scene where Max gives Allison his number, is located just a little more to the left. I'll give you a better visual later. For now, let's take a look inside the classroom. My mom and I ran into some very nice teachers who work at the middle school and gave us permission to go inside the classroom. While we weren't allowed to film, we were able to take as many pictures as we wanted. Let's line up a couple shots from the movie with how the classroom looks today in 2022. What an amazing experience. We made sure to take plenty of pictures. Thanks again to the teachers of East Whittier Middle School for letting us see this iconic Hocus Pocus filming location. It made our year. Well, wow, that was an amazing experience. We're so grateful for the teachers who let us check out that classroom. That was like, wow, like year made. That was like amazing. And just to give you guys more of a visual of where that was, uh, we were somewhere to the right over here behind this building. And we were thinking that that's where the classroom was, but it's actually further to the left over here. So the classroom is not on the other side of this building like we were filming earlier. You saw we were in this area with those archways. It's actually to the left over in this direction. And it's basically on the other side of this building over here, it's to the left side, not to the right like we thought. So we have that arrow right there pointing to the office if you go up those steps. And the classroom is actually right over here, like I was showing you guys in the photo. So it is not the very first window there, but the second one over in that location. And that's where it is. So glad we got to see it. That was so much fun. Well, as we're driving to our next location, I'm just gonna tell you guys a couple fun facts about Hocus Pocus. Now, first of all, believe it or not, the three Sanderson sisters actually never filmed in Salem. So that means that Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimi, they only filmed in Los Angeles, either at the sound stages or on location in Whittier, or at the MacArthur too with the interior shots. Now that's very interesting. If you look at one of the shots in Salem with the exterior of the high school and it's shot at night, you see the three Sanderson sisters, but you only see the back of their heads. So I believe that means those are the photo doubles, but it's not the actual actresses. So I thought that was very interesting. And on that note, something really interesting is the Sanderson sister house was not filmed in Salem. That was filmed in a soundstage at the Disney Studios. So I'm assuming the Sanderson sister house would have been shot in stage two at the Walt Disney Studios. So yeah, kind of interesting. If you look at the house, you'd think it would be some spooky house in Salem maybe, something that looks a little like a witch's house, but no, that was actually built on a soundstage. A little movie magic, right? So really, if you look at any of the Sanderson sister scenes that may look like they were shot outside, like some of the graveyard scenes, it was not in Salem, it was most likely in a soundstage in Los Angeles. Another interesting fact, now this may be really hard to believe, but when Hocus Pocus came out in the theaters, it was actually a flop. It did not do that well. It's funny considering how iconic that movie is and it's such a staple for Halloween time. Now it's possible it didn't do so good in the theaters because it was released on July 16th. <laughs> You'd think they would have released it in September and October maybe, it would have done a little bit better. But no, it was released in July. July 16th, 1993. So I guess it didn't stand as much of a chance if it was released in July. But I think rumor has it that they released it during that time and not during Halloween time. 
time because they didn't want the movie to compete with some of the other movies coming out around that time. I think Nightmare Before Christmas also came out in 1993. Yes, I just looked it up. Nightmare Before Christmas came out October 13th, 1993. So there you go. So there were some other movies they just didn't want to compete with around that time in October. And maybe they just assumed it would be a summer blockbuster. The movie did have some big names in it, such as Sarah Jessica Parker and Bette Midler. The movie was also supposed to be darker than the one that came out in the theaters, so that's interesting to know. Also, apparently the original name of the movie was Halloween House. That's very interesting. I think definitely Hocus Pocus was a good change. What do you guys think? Okay, everybody, so now, believe it or not, we are in Burbank on Hollywood Way, to be more specific. We are indeed, and you've been to this a uh, facility before. Yes, so this is the Warner Brothers Ranch. Now we're not going inside of the studio today. We're not allowed inside. No. <laughs> I'm not working today, so I don't have access, unfortunately. But like I said, I have worked at the Warner Brothers Ranch before and it's really nice. Now I hear they're tearing some stuff down, I believe. Oh, okay. To make more stages, maybe. Oh. So that's too bad because there's a lot of history here. I believe WandaVision filmed here. And I've worked on Young Sheldon at this location and Lucifer as well and a couple of other things. So yeah, this is an awesome studio. And right down the street, if you keep going in this direction, you will hit the Warner Brothers studio actually. So yeah, like I said, we are not going inside of the Warner Brothers ranch today because we don't have access. But we definitely wanted to make mention of it because there was a Hocus Pocus scene that was shot here, right behind this gate <laughs> somewhere. So we have the studio just here to the left. And that is one of the entrances, gate 11 to be more specific. Mm -hmm. And what exterior scene from Hocus Pocus was filmed here, Mom? The scene where they're celebrating that the witches were dead. Yeah, they're celebrating because they think the Sanderson sisters are dead. And you see a fountain in the background of that scene and that's actually the Friends Fountain. So that's where they filmed that iconic shot in Friends right over here at the studio. Now the Friends Fountain has been removed from the Warner Brothers Ranch. They actually moved it over to the Warner Brothers studio. They use it for the tour. It's a really good photo op. Yeah. So you can go on the tour and you can get your photo at near the Friends Fountain on the couch. It's pretty iconic. Yeah, but where they actually filmed that shot in Friends was not at the Warner Brothers studio. It was at the Warner Brothers Ranch here. And in that exact spot where they have the Friends Fountain is where they filmed that scene from Hocus Pocus where they're celebrating because they think the Sanderson sisters are dead. Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong, the witch is dead? <laughs> or so they think. But you guys know that whole scene where they're celebrating and then Max has this conversation with Binks and he tells Binks, where are you going? You're a denizen now. <laughs> and then they all go home thinking that they'll have a good night's rest, but unfortunately that just does not not happen. Not enough salt. <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool. All of that was shot at this studio. And like I was saying, I believe uh, Westview and WandaVision was filmed here as well. My favorite. Yes, and a lot of shows. Oh my gosh, tons. Like I said, Young Sheldon has filmed here before and a lot of other shows so yeah this may not be as big as the warner brothers studio but it's a really nice studio where they filmed a lot of iconic scenes right and a hop skip and a jump from the big studio yeah you keep going this way and you you have the other studios yeah all the cool studios are in burbank pretty much the disney studio is actually pretty much close by here it's on buena vista street so we may pass by there in a little bit Okay, so we are actually on Buena Vista Street right now. If you look at the top of the fence, there's a bunch of hidden Mickeys, and there we go. We have the Walt Disney Studio. That's so cool. I've been to that studio as well. I've worked on a couple of things. And believe it or not, a lot of the interior Hocus Pocus shots were done at the Walt Disney Studio. I believe they were shot over at stage two. I looked on IMDb and that's what it said. So yeah, that's really cool. I think from what I've heard, a lot of exterior shots were shot in Salem, but there was also a ton of interior stuff that they filmed here. Look at that studio. It's so cool. Oh, check it out. There's stage seven on the corner here. Not sure where stage two would be. Probably we won't be able to get that shot, but 
It's so cool. A lot of history has happened at this studio. Oh, we have six and seven over here. <laughs> Obviously, we're not allowed inside, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, and look at that. See, check it out. Looks like we have the, the water tower over here. Nice. Alrighty, so we are now in Los Angeles. Not a very easy place to get to. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but we are happy to be here. There's a really pretty park over on this end. And across the street from it is the MacArthur, which is beautiful. I've actually never seen this building before. I know they've held a lot of events here. It's definitely closed right now. I think it's closed for refurbishment. And I believe it's set to open sometime in 2023 again. It'll be interesting to see how it looks because this place is pretty iconic, actually. It is stunning to look at architecture-wise, yeah. but it is so sad looking right now. At the moment, it's oh. a little tragic looking. Like I said, it's under construction, so we cannot go inside because it is locked. It is definitely closed till 2023, which is too bad because they shot the interior party scene here for Hocus Pocus. Now you guys know which scene I'm talking about when I say party scene. That's the scene where the Sanderson sisters sing, I put a spell on you. And then the adults party and dance all night long. And the interior shot of that was filmed right here at the MacArthur. Now, like I said, we can't get inside, but I'll try and find some photos online so you guys can get a look at it. Because if you look at the photos, it's a really beautiful room. I can see why they chose it for the movie. And all of that was filmed not in Salem, not at a movie studio, <laughs> but at the MacArthur right here. We're just going to have another look at the MacArthur because it's a really beautiful building. And like I said, this is in Los Angeles on Parkview. And look at that. That is beautiful. Now, I'm not positive where the room was where they filmed the interiors, but who knows? Maybe it's one of these rooms here. <laughs> it was a huge room. It was a huge room, yeah. If you look at the pictures online, it's a beautiful room with a lot of space. I bet that's it. It could be it. Okay, mom noticed this chandelier here. I wonder if that chandelier is in the scene. So is it this room? This is total speculation, obviously. Either way, that looks like a beautiful chandelier. I would love to visit this building sometime. Let's have another look at that. How pretty though, mm -hmm. wow. Well, that's definitely really interesting. I never knew that so many shots from the movie were actually filmed in Los Angeles. I know. I assumed than... it was all in Salem, but I know. No, there's plenty in Los Angeles. Well, and we were there, so obviously we knew some. Well, we knew were Whittier here. was, but um, you know, I didn't know that it was at the Walt Disney Studios that didn't they did the either. interiors. Yeah. So I think this would be the front entrance normally. As you can see, there is no possible way we can enter or even take a peek. <laughs> it is shut off, but look how tall this is. Oh my gosh, I feel so short right now. Now I'm sure other movies and TV shows have filmed here. I'm not sure which ones, but the only one I can say for sure is that Hocus Pocus filmed here. Well, I look forward to this building being restored. I'm really glad we got the chance to see it. But now I think it is time to move on to the next location, right, Let's Mom? Let's do it. How yeah. fun. This has been great fun. Of course. OK, everybody, we have reached the last filming location for Hocus Pocus, right? We have. Now, we can't get too close, but <laughs> no. we can give you a good idea. Yeah, again, like we said, we try to be respectful, and somebody does live at this house. But um, here we go. We'll try to get close enough so that you guys can see it, but also we're gonna be respectful, obviously. So this next location is the interior for Allison's house. Now, as many of you know, the exterior house is in Salem, and that's a very, very popular place for people to visit when they go to Salem and get a photo in front of Allison's house. So you'd think the interior shots were filmed there, but they weren't. The interior shots for that scene were filmed at that house, right there. <laughs> wow, looks like a beautiful house. So the exterior of this house you will not recognize in the movie, and obviously we cannot show you guys the interior of it, because <laughs> it is somebody else's private property. <laughs> so we can't show you those interior shots, but I will put some screenshots from the movie 
and clip it into this video so you guys can kind of get an idea. Wow, this is really beautiful. We're just gonna go around the corner really quickly because actually you will recognize the outside of the house, which is right over here because, oh my gosh. So the exterior of this was used in Scream 2. You guys should recognize this shot right here because this is the sorority house where Cece dies. Now, Cece was played by Sarah Michelle Gellar, as you guys know. So you should definitely recognize this because Ghostface throws Cece over this balcony and she falls to her death. That happens right up there. Wow, definitely very recognizable. Check it out. Wow, as a Scream 2 fan, I'm totally geeking out right now. This is amazing. So yeah, for all of you Scream fans out here, this is the exterior of that sorority house where Cece gets murdered. Beautiful house. Now actually the interior shots from Scream 2 were also filmed at this house. So you'll recognize a shot where Cece's on the stairs. That was filmed here. And there's also a scene in Hocus Pocus where you see Allison on the stairs. Those are the same stairs that are in Scream 2 and Hocus Pocus. Because both those interior shots were shot right behind these walls here. Not only that, but Catch Me If You Can was also filmed here. And you can also see a same shot from Catch Me If You Can on those stairs. Kind of cool, isn't it? A lot of famous movies filmed in one house. So yeah, this is another Hocus Pocus filming location and the last one that we're gonna shoot for this video. But I think the most recognizable shot with the interior of Hocus Pocus is the one with Allison on the stairs, like I mentioned. So that's really cool. It happened all right here. I wonder why they didn't use this house as the exterior, because it's so pretty. <laughs> but they must have had their reasons. The house over in Salem, the exterior, that's also pretty spectacular. Well, like I said, we don't want to linger here for too long, but I'm not going to leave without mentioning that Matilda was also filmed here. You guys might recognize this as the Trunchbull house. Yeah, I definitely recognize this from the movie, even though it's been a while since I've seen the movie. So yeah, this was Mrs. Trunchbull's house in Matilda. Very recognizable house, very iconic too. So a lot of iconic movies filmed here. Okay, one last look. A lot of history here. A lot of famous movies. Now I want to go back and watch Matilda <laughs> and Catch Me If You Can and Scream 2 and Hocus Pocus. <laughs> what do you say, Mom? Look at that beautiful oh area gosh. with the pillars, wow. like an outdoor a fountain. And... Yeah, I mean, this was not in the movie, obviously, but it's really pretty. What a beautiful house. I think it's time to be on our way, Mom. I think it is. This was the best. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we definitely saved one of the best things for last, right? Yeah. Although what the best thing is, is debatable. So we'll talk about more of that in just a moment. We will. And this is in Pasadena, by the way. But again, if you visit this house, just be sure to be very respectful because people do live here. I can see why they use this house for a lot of famous movies because I totally believe I could be in Salem or Woodsboro for Scream 2 or, you know, maybe somewhere that's not quite in California. This is a really perfect location to film. Well, everybody, that was the last location. That's all she wrote, as they say, right here in beautiful Pasadena. Right. Wow, that was a lot of fun. But I'm definitely hungry now and possibly in need of a cheeky drink. What do you think? I think so. So I think that means it is the end of our video, but only for now because we have tons of content coming out really soon at theme parks, at travel locations, even at movie filming locations. Who knows where you will see us next? So on that note, if you liked our video, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps the channel out a whole lot. And plus, it'll keep you guys updated on our crazy adventures. <laughs> okay, mom, so this is a really tough question, but what was your favorite Hocus Pocus filming location that we visited? I love Friend Street with yeah. the Pocus Pocus house. That was fun. But I have to say the school room. Oh yeah. Being able 
to get inside the school room. Yeah, that, that was so cool. That just like made my year. It did. I mean, it's too bad we didn't get the chance to film in there, but obviously we wanted to be respectful because the teachers and everyone that let us in, they were really nice, right, Mom? So nice. Yeah. And like you said, we got to experience it yes. versus filming. Right, we got exactly. to see where the kids sat. They yeah. were so nice to us. Yeah, they were wow. really nice. They gave us a lot of nice info as well. Imagine being a kid going to that school. Like, I how know. cool is that, right? We also got a lot of fun Instagram photos, right? In the we classroom. We did, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we'll be sure to post a lot of photos on our Instagram, so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay guys, I think it's time for cheeky drinks, right? Yes. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for following us along on our adventure to all the Hocus Pocus filming locations. We did it. Yeah, if you guys enjoy our filming location videos, let us know in the comments. Or even let us know what location you would like us to visit next. Exactly. And I'm sure we'll have another one coming out really soon. But till then, stay safe out there, stay awesome, and perhaps sometime we will see you in Whittier, California at the Devil's House from Hocus Pocus. Ding dong. Trick or treat. <laughs> have a great day, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.